Hello, and welcome to our quick tutorial on how to use the Lesson Picks Sound Finder. The Sound Finder is a powerful, easy to use search tool that will help you find words that contain specific sounds regardless of how they're spelled. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at how to locate the Sound Finder from the Lesson Picks homepage. You'll notice that we're not logged in. The Sound Finder is a free tool that does not require a subscription. At the top of the page, click on the green tab labeled Sound Finder and Other Tools. This will bring up the Sound Finder page. On the Sound Finder, you'll find our common tray area, which is available on all of our search and browse screens. You'll also find instructions for how to use the tool in the main results area until you run a search. For our first example, let's say we're working with a student with an articulation problem where she substitutes the th sound for the sh sound. For example, she says dithes instead of dishes. We'd like to create some games and materials that focus on words that have the sh sound. That way, she'll be repeating that sound over and over without realizing that she's practicing. To find those words, we first enter any word that contains the target sound. In our case, we'll enter the word wish and hit get sounds. The sound finder now presents us with the three sounds in the word wish. Those are w, i, and sh. It displays these sounds using a simplified version of the International Phonetic Alphabet, or IPA. The IPA is an alphabet that is specifically designed to represent individual specific sounds, regardless of the language. It is also a standard within the speech therapy community for recording and communicating articulation problems. You can read more about it on Wikipedia by searching for IPA. The point of the sound finder, however, is to get the power of the IPA without needing parents and teachers to learn it. Back to our example, we see that our problem sound is the third sound in wish, the sh sound. We'll check it so the sound finder will only return words that have that sound in them. Next, we need to choose the position where we want to find that sound. Some people may have issues where they can say the sh sound at the beginning of the word, but not in the middle. So they can say ship, but dishes comes out dithes. We will limit our results, in this case, to contain only words that have the sh sound in the middle of the word, and hit Find Words. Notice that our instructions have been replaced by the results of our search. Also notice that each resulting word has the sh sound in the middle of the word, and that English uses many different ways to spell the sh sound, with a C as in ocean, SH as in sushi, and with a T in vacation. SoundFinder returns all of these, as it is searching by sound, not letter. There's also a section to the left that has the most common English words that match our criteria, regardless of whether Lesson Picks has pictures for them or not. If you would like to request a picture, you can check the box next to it and click Request Images to send us a request. This is a huge help to us so that we can improve our library. At this point, we can proceed like we would from any other type of search or category results. We drag pictures from the results sections into the tray, or we can use the plus button, especially if we're on the iPad or a similar device. Then we proceed through the Create Materials wizard to create a set of dominoes where every card has a word with a sh sound in the middle. Our PDF is now ready, and you'll notice that since we were not logged in, there's a watermark on our document. This would be removed if we had an account and had logged in. I hope this tutorial has helped explain the sound finder, and you'll find this powerful tool useful. Thank you for using Lesson Picks.